Okay, this week's drug, continuing with our estrogen management, is letrozole, trade name of Femera. <coughs> letrozole has a half-life of two days, the detection time is about two weeks, and the doses vary, uh, but not uncommon to see in 1.25 milligrams or 2.5 milligrams. It is a aromatized inhibitor. Now, it's a third-generation aromatized inhibitor, and it's pretty much the most powerful one out there. It has been shown to drop estrogen by as much as 98% at a dose of 2.5 milligrams a day, but even a dose as low as 0.1 milligram has shown reduction levels of up to 75%. Now, like ADEX, Aromidex, it is an aromatase inhibitor, and it stops the production of aromatase. As a result, when it is removed, there is a rebound, and with letrozole, it is quite, or can be quite severe. So quite often, post-usage, another uh, um, estrogen management will have to be used, a, a CERN or a suicide inhibitor. Now, it does reduce HDL, similar to ADEX, and the reduction can be over 25%. The biggest issue with letrozole is that it will crash your E2 too low. The main issue is that it will bring estrogen levels way, way too low, and this is going to severely restrict progress and growth and have a negative impact on all sorts of things within your body. So if you're going to run letrozole, I would suggest that it is only used pre-contest or if you have a severe estrogen issue and it's used as a very short blast to get things under control. If you're going to use it long term, you need to manage and test estrogen to make sure you have it in a healthy range. Right, it is slightly toxic. Um, not massively, but more so than the Rumidex. And that is it in a nutshell. It is the most powerful estrogen control out there, which is why a lot of people jump on it. But most of the people that do use it regularly, you'll also notice that they don't get a great deal of progress in the gains department. They'll be lean and they'll be dry because they have very little estrogen in their bodies. But at the end of the day, estrogen is essential for growth. Uh, and as a result, crave. I wouldn't use it unless you've got a major issue with gyno or your pre-contest is my general opinion of it. Otherwise this shit should be left well, well alone. It's just way too powerful and way too effective.